Looking for a diet that offers you the best protection against certain cancers? The results of a seven-year study are in, and it appears that a vegetarian diet that includes some fish may be optimal for warding off colorectal cancer, the second most deadly cancer in the U.S. Joining us now to discuss is the study's lead researcher, Dr. Michael Orlick, assistant professor of preventative medicine at Loma Linda University. Dr. Orlick, thanks so much for being with us. It's a pleasure. So, Dr. Orlick, you followed over 77,000 people for over seven years. Can you break down your results for us? Sure. Overall, we compared vegetarians broadly defined to non-vegetarians. Non-vegetarians were about half of our study, and vegetarians of several different types were the other half. And the overall result was a 22 percent relative reduction in risk of developing colorectal cancer for vegetarians broadly defined compared to non-vegetarians. And then we looked at the specific types of vegetarians, and uh, we found reductions for several different types, vegans, lacto-ovo vegetarians, and pesco-vegetarians. As you say, the results for the pesco-vegetarians were the lowest risk in our study, uh, with a 43 percent relative reduction in risk compared to the non-vegetarians. This that is actually, after adjusting for a bunch of other factors like exercise and education and things like that. That's so interesting. So what is it about the fish exactly, do you think, and how much fish are we talking about? It's not at all clear to us uh, that the results for the pesco-vegetarians are due to fish. They actually eat about the same amount of fish as the non-vegetarians. And uh, the results for the pesco-vegetarians compared to the other vegetarian groups are not statistically significantly different comparing within those groups. So we're not clear at all as to why the pesco-vegetarians showed the lowest risk, but that's just what the numbers showed. I'm a little confused about something, though. You said vegetarians who eat fish as opposed to pesco-vegetarians. Isn't that the same thing? Because a vegetarian who eats fish is, by definition, not a vegetarian, correct? Uh, it depends how you define the term. We define uh, vegetarian broadly to include vegans, uh, lacto-ovo vegetarians who eat dairy and eggs, pesco-vegetarians uh, who eat fish but not other meats, and then semi-vegetarians who eat meats but less than once a week. All of these quite different than the usual non-vegetarian diet. Okay, so did this diet or these sort of more successful diets have any effect on other cancers or did you not look into that? Um, we're actually analyzing that currently and we will have follow-up papers looking both at breast cancer and prostate cancer, but uh, those results are not included here. Now, what is the takeaway here? What diet advice would you give as the result of this study? Would you advocate cutting out red meat altogether? It's always important to look at all of the scientific evidence, and I would say all of the scientific evidence, including our study at this point, would point to doing two things. One, uh, reduce or eliminate uh, red meat and processed meat from the diet and increase your consumption of a wide variety of healthy whole plant foods, which are high in fiber. Right. Uh, that's what all of our vegetarian groups uh, were basically eating. and most of the evidence points in that direction. So I guess it's unclear at this point whether that successful diet is successful because of the little bit of fish or because of the huge amount of vegetables, correct? That's right. Yeah, it could be a variety of factors. I think uh, meat avoidance is probably one of them, and increased whole uh, plant consumption is probably another, and whether fish play a role, we're, we're hoping to uh, take a little bit closer look at that. Sounds great. Fascinating study. Thank you so much, Dr. Orlick, for that. All right, thank you.